sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana. Grace and peace be with you and Jesus, our crucified and risen Savior. Greetings, my friends. I want to conclude our week together by assuring you of my ongoing prayer, especially praying for those persons who've been diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus here in our diocese, their family members, all those who are caring for them. Let's pray for their healing at this time. I also want to assure you that the Chancellor, Dan Pfeiffer, Canterbury Bays, our treasurers, Joe Walker and Tom Gresick, have been working on trying to make it possible to get information to you about the CARES Act, the legislation that was passed last Friday. Uh, there's a program called Paycheck Protection, and we're going to be sending you information about how your faith community can apply through your local bank to get some uh, refunds and some resources to address the financial challenges that you'll be facing. There's more about that that will be coming out to senior wardens, treasurers, and to our parish clergy. So look for, forward to that. There's a webinar as well planned for Tuesday of Holy Week to meet with our treasurers and all those involved in this, uh, this process. Uh, I'm also aware of the fact that I've had conversations with clergy and laypersons about the, the absence of, of gathering for the Eucharist. And I had some opportunity this week to speak with our clergy and my bishop colleagues around the, the, the sort of dynamics that are in place with physical distancing, are not being able to gather for word, sacrament, and also what it means to consider spiritual communion. Uh, there's some information that's also attached to this uh, pastoral update that I encourage you to read, along with the word to the church that our presiding bishop uh, issued on Tuesday that I, I found comforting as I deal with my own discomfort about uh, not having communion. Uh, I wanna conclude with a prayer from a prayer book for the armed services that speaks directly to this particular concern. It's in a section called, When Holy Communion is Not Available. Uh, I offer this prayer for you and for me. Let us pray. In union, O Lord, with your faithful people at every altar of your church, where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, I desire to offer to you praise and thanksgiving. I remember your death, Lord Christ. I proclaim your resurrection. I await your coming in glory. And since I cannot receive you today in the sacrament of your body and blood, I beseech you to come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me, in this life and in the life to come. What comfortable words for us. Grace and peace.